So let's say you're writing a blog post and you really want to include some fabulous multimedia element in your post. You know that you can't just lift stuff from the internet that's under copyright, and you know that just because you have access to something doesn't mean the same thing as having rights to that thing. So you're looking for some great image that's under Creative Commons or in the public domain. Where do you start? So the first place I would suggest you start is Photos for Class. Photosforclass.com um, has Creative Commons photos that will come ready to go with an attribution or with the citation already attached to the image. So let's say you want pictures of puppies, because who doesn't want pictures of puppies? Then you click in and look at all those cute puppies. Oh my gosh. Okay, so you want this one. Okay. When you go to download the image, this is what you'll see. Um, you see the sweet puppy and at the black bar at the bottom, you'll notice there's the title of the artwork. So this photo is titled Puppy. And then you'll see the person who created the photograph, John Kriz, our photographer. The date, 2010. And then there's a link to this image on Flickr so that you can always get to where John Kriz keeps his images. You'll see the attribution is a Creative Commons license 2.0. So that's the first place to start, which is the Creative Commons search provided by Photos for Class. Now, if you want to do your own Creative Commons search, you can head on over to ccsearch.creativecommons.org and you can do the exact same thing. In the Creative Commons search, you type in what you're looking for and it will search for us. Wow, the Wi-Fi is slow right now. And it will search for us um, and give us a whole bunch of images that are under Creative Commons license, which means we can use them as long as we give credit or promise not to make money off of them or promise not to share them. Oh, look at that puppy. So this one, puppy, um, you see the person in the circle, you have to give attribution. You have to say who it's by. This one over here, same thing, attribution. You have to give Laura Bittner some credit. Then you come up to this image up here, this is the puppy by Ladness, and you'll see it's, um, you have to say who it's by, you have to give attribution, it's non-commercial, you can't make money off of it, and no derivatives. You can't change the work, you can't adapt the work in your own post, okay? So with these, you can do the same thing, you can click to download, um, and you can also now download attribution. So let's say you really like Puppy by Laura Bittner, you can copy credit for Laura Bittner's puppy photo um, as text so that you can include it in your post. So down here, and here's all the information about the photo and what the license is. Okay, copy credit as text, and then it's just copied to your clipboard and you can dump it on in as text. So those are two options for photographs. Let's just say you want like an icon or something. You can head on over to the nounproject.com where there are icons for everything. So let's look up dog. If you want an icon for a dog, Noun Project is the place to go. They will actually give you icons that you can choose from, different faces, different side angles. Everything's black and white and everything is an icon, right, by noun. So let's say you're like, oh, I really like this sleeping puppy. So sleeping puppy, gives you the option to download. Okay, you just download the puppy, and I want a PNG. It's gonna ask you to either join with email or join with Facebook. You can do either of those. I'm gonna log in because I already have an account. Okay, so we're logged in, and now we see Sleepy Dog. We go to download the image just as we did before, click again, and then it gives you two options. The first one, royalty free, actually is going to ask you to pay a fee and then you can use it without having to cite it. We're not going to pay a fee. We're going to go the Creative Commons license route, which means when you go to download the image, all you have to do is make sure that you create, that you keep the attribution. Now, truth be told, I don't often keep that attribution um, on the image itself. Often I will use it like in the line of text directly below the image so that it looks a little bit better and I will then um, hyperlink back to the noun project so that someone else could see exactly where I got it.
Okay, so that's option three. We've seen photos for class. We've seen Creative Commons search. We've seen the noun project. Now we're gonna pop over to the public domain. If we go to Wikimedia Commons, you can search just like on Wikipedia for any images, sounds, or videos that you want to use that are freely usable media files that anybody can use and anybody can contribute to. Okay, Often the Wikimedia Commons hosts works by people who are either super generous or super dead. So some of these um, bits of media are from like hundreds of years ago painting that's in like a national gallery. Okay, and just like before you search and then you'll see lots and lots of options. Okay, last but not least is Google Images. So let's say you're at images.google.com and you wanna look for puppies. Oh, they're so cute. This time, instead of looking at, I mean, all these puppies, some of these are under copyright, so I know I can't use most of these. I'm going to go to Tools, I'm going to go to Usage Rights, and I'm going to filter it as anything that's labeled for non-commercial reuse. I'm not planning on changing it, so I don't need modification, and I'm not planning on making money off of it, so I can go for non-commercial. Now I'm just seeing the pictures that I'm allowed to use under non-commercial reuse, no modification, okay? And so then with any of these, I can click on the image and I can go ahead, in some cases you might want to visit the page um, and then you can grab the citation there or if it gives you enough information here, you, you can just cite it directly. So back to your awesome blog, I think you should be ready to insert some multimedia elements that are free for you to use, that you know that you have the rights to, and that aren't breaking any copyright. Hope that helps.